Hi, I'm Cindy Cloward with Riley Blake Designs, and today's project is a Crayola Crenroll. Crayola is one of our licensed partners, and we're using their beautiful fabric to make this project. So you can see that once this is all sewn together, it organizes your crayons. Let me show you how easy it is to make. These are the fabrics and the supplies that are needed. These are the dimensions. All right, the first thing you need to do is take your pocket piece. It's nice to have a contrasting fabric and you're gonna fold it in half, wrong sides together. So you want your pretty side of the fabric out. Give it a good press. Okay, this is the pocket where your crayons are going in. So I can face it towards you. You're gonna line it up on the bottom of your fabric and give it a good pin. And now you can take a marking pencil or a marking pen. This actually disappears once it's washed or it gets wet. So I'm going to use this. And as the instructions go, inch and a quarter on both sides for our seam allowance, and then an inch all along the rest of the crayon roll. So inch and a quarter. And then from that line, I'm going to mark an inch all the way across to the other side. Okay, I just finished on the end. Again, my sides are gonna be in an inch and a quarter because of the seam allowance, and I'm ready to take it to the machine and sew. When you're marking, just remember as you're lining things up to line the top so it doesn't start going diagonally. So remember that. Let's take it to the machine and sew our little pockets. I do start at the top of our pocket so I can place my needle where I want. I backstitch and I sew off the end on each of my markings. Okay, we sewed all of our pockets. Now we're ready to go to the next step. We take the back side of our crayon roll with our interfacing, find the bumpy side, that's the glue side. We're gonna turn it towards the back of our fabric. We're gonna line it up and press. Just move slowly to make sure the glue is activated by the heat. All right, take the back of your fabric. This is non-directional fabric. If you had a directional fabric, you'd have to be mindful of where it was going. So you're going to um, add your ribbon. I fold my ribbon right sides together if there is a right and wrong side. And I just kind of put it in the middle. You can eyeball it. You don't want this to get caught up in your sewing. So I am going to just pin it down in the middle. Then with right sides together, I'm gonna pin my ribbon 
from the outside. Now that I've pinned all, of, all the way around my crown roll, I am going to put two different colored pins because that's going to be my stop and start spot where I'm going to turn my crown roll right side out. So these are my two different colored pins. I'm going to start here using a fourth and inch, pivoting around my corners and ending right here, doing a back stitch on both sides. quarter inch sewn around all of our edges. We just inspect the back side to make sure everything's got caught in our sewing, front and back. We are going to clip off our corners, not cutting through our threads, but re making sure there's less bulk for those corners to be nice and sharp. And now we're ready to turn inside out. Here's our ribbon. Now it's nice to have a turning tool or you can use chopsticks in the corner. Pop out your edges in the corner. Get all those edges. All right. Let's give it a nice press. You're going to tuck in your raw edges. If you have any corners that need to be popped out, now's the good opportunity to do that. That looks good. Now your last step is take it to the machine and do a top stitch around all four sides. Okay, your crin roll is finished. Trim off any loose threads. You can't even see where we turned our crin roll right side out because it was tucked in the middle and we did our top stitch all the way around. The last thing we need to add is our Crayola crins. I love the smell of crins, fresh crins right out of the box. So just put in your favorite colors. And now your crayons are organized and ready to go. Let's roll it up. It's just that easy to make a Crayola Crayon Roll.